Staying healthy and feeling your best is very important at any age, but also thinking young is very important. There is a famous saying, the longer you live, the more you lose and as you lose the people or the things in life, they become more precious. But the key ingredient in the recipe of healthy and young living, even in old age, is the ability to find joy and happiness in life. You can spend time with nature and art, or you can write your precious memories. The important thing is to find happiness in the activities that give you joy and peace. Both physically and mentally growing older does not mean that your mental abilities are reduced. There is a lot you can do to keep your mind sharp and alert. If you don't currently have an active social life, look for opportunities to reconnect with old friends or make new ones seek out like-minded others in church groups. Volunteer activities, gyms, alumni groups, or any other group that corresponds to an interest of yours. As you lose some people, there is still an opportunity to make new friends and it is vital to make new connections. So your social life does not decline. Getting older includes changes from the physical to the psychological, to the social passionate, and that is just the beginning. A portion of these progressions you may regard as positive and some negative. The challenge is to boost the significant parts of getting older while finding a way to keep up your health and limit the negative aspects. Don't fall for the myth that growing older means you are not going to feel good anymore. The facts demonstrate that maturing includes actual changes. Getting it doesn't need to mean uneasiness and inability while not all sickness or torment is avoidable. Large numbers of the actual difficulties related to maturing can be survived or moderated by working out eating right and dealing with it all. I saw many people of the same age who had a vastly unique quality of life. The worst of the bunch sat in front of the television all day, often falling asleep in a big comfy reclining chair. The more they sat, the stiffer they became and the harder it became to do any activity. Throw out the chair and limit the TV, get out and walk, swim, stretch, do light yoga, go fishing or ride a bike. You don't have to run marathons. Just don't sit in a chair all day. Your whole life you have had challenges, schedules, tasks, appointments have controlled your daily activities. Now without them, your daily activities seem to blow in the wind. Come up with a plan daily or learn a new skill task or just a new activity, just like your working life had to deal with. Only this is all pleasure. Furthermore, you're never past the point where it is possible to begin. Regardless of how old you are focusing on your body has huge advantages that will help you stay dynamic and increase your energy. Keep stress under control with meditation and regular relaxing. Since in excessive stress hormones, like cortisol, can be harmful to neurons, good nutrition helps to keep your brain in optimum condition as well as your body. So be ready and just say to yourself that I am physically, mentally, and emotionally ready to enter the new phase of my life, and I'm ready to grow older with a better me. I'd like to hear from you. If you have any comments about this video, I'd also appreciate you clicking on subscribe and the bell, so you will be notified when I upload a new video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up as I truly appreciate it. This has been Gary's Resolve.